Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I wanna to talk to you about manifesting abundance on your twin flame journey. Now, let's break that down a little bit. Manifesting abundance, okay? It's different for everyone. In other words, their definition of what's abundant for them is different. For some people, it means having enough to have other plans and enjoy life for other people. They want big stuff. They want the car, they want the big house. And here's the thing about it. Almost everyone's getting unplugged from an old level, but you have to be proactive about plugging in. And that plugging in involves two-fold things. It involves tapping into a new level and taking actions at a physical level. Now, sometimes those actions can be very introverted where you're kind of hammering it out. I call it going back to your inner drawing board. What do you want? What do you need? Um, what, you know, like there's basic stuff. Those are needs. And sometimes they're not just survival needs. Like it might be like, I really need a car because in my area, I have to rely on a car. Or, you know, for other people, that might be as simple as I just need a metro pass and I'm good. Some people are just, you know, not really sure what they want. And there are reasons for that. And the reasons have to do with what has been in the past, what has the family been like, what is the family's relationship to money and abundance. And there's a lot of cultural mindsets that people have to overcome of what we can or can't do or what have my ancestors been able to do or what have my ancestors not been able to do. Now you're seeing this big time on the world stage with the housing crisis, the migrant crisis, you're seeing a lot of, you know, financial uh, disparities. Like, they, they've always been there. It's just, like, really, really obvious now. But the world can't really get to those levels and thus something begins to break down and then we can build it up. So how do you do this at the personal level? First of all, you have to focus on yourself personally because you are a person and you are a magnificent person and you have things inside you and attributes to you that other people don't have. Why? Because you've had an activation. Now, the one thing that I really don't like to see for people on this journey is that they get stuck, they get stagnant, or they start assuming that, you know, if they're female, they start assuming that if the man shows up, then everything's gonna be hunky-dory. That is not the case, and that's not even why we marched or had some women's liberation, at least in my country. You have to be partners. You have to be able to utilize your powers of manifestation, which are an inherent part of your brand new blueprint. Now that might, you know, I wanna take this out of the woo-woo fluffy stuff and bring it down to practical, like nuts and bolts, how would you, because you have to use the same method every time you're going to reinvent yourself, whether you call it your new life, your second life, whether you call it, um, I've reinvented myself, you know, whether you're thinking, I want to leave a job, but I would like to have a nice stepping stone or a nice segue out without leaving hard feelings and dealing with all the emotions. Yes, all of this is a part of how you should properly manifest. It shouldn't be where you have uh, hard feelings left behind you or people have those secondary emotions like envy, jealousy. If you find that you're like feeling that way, you're envious, you're jealous of what others have and you're tired of looking through the glass window and seeing you know, like a kid in a candy store, all the things that you can't have. This requires you to really know yourself. As William Shakespeare said, know thyself, to thine own self be true. And what that means, to thine own self, that means the inherent being that you are. A magical, manifesting, proactive, up-leveled person who's here to not worry about those things. Is it normal to have worry? Yes. Is it normal to have to deal with people who are not activated? Yes. Is it normal to feel like you're unplugged 
or that you are somehow in the mode of, you know, I don't know what my next steps are. There are ways to do this and I've used the ways and I realize in some ways I've used these ways all my life and some people are real stubborn about it some people don't know where to get started so whether you're a stubborn person and you need your next steps or you're just like becoming aware of this and you're really noticing it and you're tired of how you're living are you sick and tired of being sick and tired of your situation that's sometimes a good motivator it's not always what we want but it is a good motivator. The things that I'll say to you are how we do this. Okay, this is how I do it in my classes. First of all, they're live with me. You get the chance to ask questions, get answers. I have an outline for you. I make you do the work. We break it down. You focus on yourself and we enlist the help of what's above you. Now recently, um, I became aware that that's a missing step for a lot of people. Uh, they don't really know how to meditate. And this isn't just about meditation. But if you can't meditate, you can't have the breakthrough to the next step. If you can't have the breakthrough to the next step, you're not going to get all of the personalized guidance, advice, and doors open for yourself. That is what I teach. Now, we bring that back down to earth because you have to have a way to implement this. I've never been afraid of work, and do you wanna know why? Because I like to live. I like to live, and I like to live a certain way. Do you like to live a certain way, or would you like to be able to live a certain way? Would you like to have the health and the financial well-being that should go with that? I hope so, because if so, we break this down, we're gonna get started in three parts, three segments, and this is the way to do it. You reach out to me at twinflamereconnection at gmail.com or check the link below in the description for a link to be able to join. This is coming right before we get into the cusp of the new year. This is also an aspect of your health because if your finances aren't healthy, if things aren't orderly for you, if you feel always edgy about things, we want you to sleep at night. We want you to stabilize and we want you to be the loving partner who's got this, who knows because what you do reflects over to your other. I hope to see you there and have a great day.